What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central. I just have a quick update for you guys today. Uh, you guys should have seen that I posted a video on Alex Caruso being cleared for contact practice. But we got an update since then from Casey Johnson on the status of Lonzo Ball that leaves a lot to be discussed. So first off, it's, it's said that he has not started lateral running or cutting yet so his potential return to practice or being cleared for full practice is that is behind even that of Patrick Williams now where this is complete speculation I don't want to send anybody into a tizzy but I do want to be honest with my thoughts on it so while it, it it's one of two ways that my brain goes when hearing that it's that Patrick Williams original return was the end of March beginning of April so if Lonzo Ball's return to practice is projected to be even behind Patrick Williams' um, return. That could mean either that Patrick Williams is way ahead of schedule, right? Well, not way, but considerably ahead of schedule. Or Lonzo is is considerably behind his his in, initial uh, projection to be out. Um, that can be concerning or it can be a great thing, right? Or it can be concerning either way. Now, you know, with it being his knee, I'm sure that they want to take it a little bit slower with him just to make sure they want to make sure that he's not going to re-injure it. And he probably also wants to make sure that he's going to trust that knee. Usually with any type of knee uh, issues, the trust uh, that the player has and really relying on that knee again soon is what dictates how quick they come back and how, how much closer they look like themselves. So, in hearing that and seeing Casey Johnson's tweet, my brain initially went to, okay, so what does this mean for Patrick Williams' return as well? To hear that he is even behind Patrick Williams, who we didn't even know originally if he was going to come back this season. And now that he's behind that, it could mean that Patrick Williams' return is a lot closer than we're thinking. Now, one thing that I've always said is that I do expect the Bulls to literally not make a big deal about it, but Patrick Williams will be moved from being out to questionable and probably playing that game, maybe with limited minutes into the playoffs, maybe even limited minutes throughout the playoffs, and then really just wait to next season and really take a look and, and ramp him back up fully. But what do you guys think this means for Alonzo Ball? Again, Casey Johnson's tweet was that he's not been, he hasn't started cutting or any lateral moves yet in practice, so that puts his return to full contact practice behind Caruso and Patrick Williams. Is that concerning to you? I know a lot of Ball family fans are really excited to get Lonzo Ball back, as well as Bulls fans are excited to see what it can look like with Lonzo Ball back. Now, some people have also projected and thought about it, and I even talked about that. I really want to see Lonzo unlocked a little bit more when it comes to the playoffs. This type of projection may, may mean that we don't see that. Now, Again, a lot of this is speculation on my part. This is just me working through my thoughts. I don't mean to send anybody into any concerns any more than that, but I want to hear from you guys. What do you think this means for Lonzo Ball's return? Does it make you more concerned, less concerned? Let me know down below, but that's it for this update. If there are any more updates tonight, I'll be sure to make uh, another video for you guys. No, I'll keep you updated very well, uh, but that's it. Make sure you're following the podcast at Bull Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, bullcentralpod at gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave us a voicemail, that's 773 270 2799. See Red Bulls fans. I love you guys. Peace. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Media.